Hello everyone, welcome back to Team Auto Trend. Today I am here with the brand new Maruti Suzuki XL6 facelifts entry level Zeta variant. For such detailed reviews on all variants of all cars, make sure to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share this video. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Today this XL6 Zeta variant has been provided by Adi Nexa Maruti Suzuki showroom in Coimbatore. Already we have seen a detailed review of the top spec Alpha Plus variant. However, even this entry level variant gets significant feature updates over the pre facelifted model. While all variants, just like before, get the LED headlamps with LED DRLs and LED fog lamps, the updated chrome grille is standard across all variants, along with silver finish, skid plates, and all round body cladding. That said, the biggest difference on the side profile are these new 16 inch dual tone machine cut alloy wheels, which is also a part of standard equipment on all variants. While the Zeta variant does not get the chrome detailing on the front fenders, it still offers the standard chrome finished door handles. Being an SUV inspired design along with the all round body cladding, the XL6 as standard also provides these long aluminium roof rails, while this new shark fin antenna is also provided as standard. Only the Alpha Plus variant gets the rear roof spoiler. That said, these new clear lens LED tail lamps are a part of standard equipment. Quite surprisingly, this center lip spoiler on the tailgate is also available as standard along with the chrome strip running across the width. This Zeta variant alone does not get a reverse parking camera, along with the silver finished skid plates on the rear bumper and four reverse parking sensors. And oh yes, just like before, the rear windshield wiper washer with defogger is also standard. Definitely the XL6 looks more appealing than the Maruti Suzuki Ertiga. Opening the driver door, well you cannot see a whole lot of difference compared to the pre facelifted Zeta because almost everything including the features remain exactly the same. As standard, all variants of the XL6 get this all black interior and the black wood finish on the dashboard and the door pads remain standard across all variants. This is an entry level variant, so you don't get to see leather wrapping on the steering wheel. However, all variants get cruise control along with steering mounted audio controls and the Bluetooth telephony controls. That said, the first feature advantage on this facelifted Zeta variant is the availability of the tilt and telescopic adjustable steering wheel. However, just like before, this Zeta variant alone does not provide automatic headlamp function. Coming on towards the right side of the steering wheel, you get to see the starter button along with the button for the engine idle start stop function and there's also the button to turn off the ESP traction control. Being a more premium 6 seat MPV, all variants of the XL6 get driver seat height adjust as standard. That said, compared to the Alpha and Alpha Plus variants, this Zeta variant alone does not get leatherette upholstery. Instead, it offers the fabric upholstery combined with an artificial leatherette material. That said, apart from the upholstery, the overall seat design remains exactly the same with this center console center armrest available as standard which also gets sliding adjustment. And then coming on towards the center console, while the automatic climate control is standard across all variants, unlike the Alpha Plus variant, this Zeta does not get ventilated front seats. Along with that, just like before, there are the cooled cup holders. So this center console overall looks similar to the pre-facelifted model. Yes, I am saying that again, all variants get the full color TFT instrument cluster as standard. And while the Alpha and Alpha Plus variants alone get the updated 7-inch Smart Play Pro touchscreen system, this Zeta variant alone carries forward the very same 7-inch Smart Play touchscreen system without the reverse parking camera. That said, this touchscreen is okay and decent in terms of functionality as it provides Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as well. Along with that, everything else also remains exactly the same, including the average sized glove box and the large 1-litre bottle holders available on all doors. While there is no significant upgrade in terms of quality of materials, all variants of the XL6 also get express down and up function for the driver window alone, along with auto folding ORVMs. That said, even on the topmost Alpha Plus variant, the XL6 does not offer auto dimming IRVM. All variants get the sunglass holder along with individual yellow cabin lamps for the front passengers. So that was all about the features in the front cabin of the XL6 Zeta. Let's now take a look at the second row seats. Despite being the entry-level variant of the XL6 range, this Zeta variant still carries forward all the flexibility and comfort options. Unlike the Alpha and Alpha Plus variants, this Zeta variant provides this rather robust and good quality fabric upholstery while not having any changes in terms of the seat design. So in terms of the comfort, there is literally no difference at all. Moreover, these captain chairs also get a whole lot of sliding along with a good range of recline adjustment for maximum comfort of the second row passengers. So this is how the dashboard of the Zeta variant looks like from the second row seat. To be frank, you can literally not spot any difference when compared to the pre facelifted Zeta variant because everything including the touchscreen system remains exactly the same. In terms of safety features, the facelifted XL6 gets side thorax airbags for the front passengers along with the dual front airbags 
which means all four airbags are available as standard across all variants along with ESP traction control and hill hold assist. So the XL6 has improved in terms of safety features as well. Just like before the rear passengers get their dedicated AC vents along with a roof cabin lamp. Similarly, the second row passengers get their dedicated 12 volt charging socket along with a separate phone pocket. So this is a very comfortable space to travel. Let's now check out the third row seats. The biggest advantages of the Ertiga and XL6 are the interior packaging and flexibility. The third row seats are exceptionally comfortable and rather spacious for such compact MPVs. Moreover, these third row seats also provide 50-50 split folding and recline adjustment. And by sliding forward the second row seats, even full-sized adults can be really comfortable in the third row seats of the XL6. So everything is great in terms of flexibility and comfort even in the third row seats. Literally all passengers of the XL6 get their very own dedicated bottle holder along with the dedicated 12 volt charging socket located on the left side. That said Maruti Suzuki could have provided USB charging ports instead of this. Despite being not as long as the Kia Currents, the XL6 and Ertiga still provides impressive levels of luggage space flexibility. Opening the tailgate, you get to see 209 litres of luggage space even with 6 passengers on board. For additional luggage capacity, this 50-50 split boot floor can be adjusted to the second level, making the boot area a bit deeper than before. And for additional convenience, this boot floor can be set to the first level for easy loading and unloading of the luggage. In case the luggage is a bit larger, the third row seats can be pushed forward to a more upright position. However, for maximum comfort, the third row seats has to be pushed all the way back to a more reclined position. In case there are no rear seat passengers, the 50-50 split third row seats can be folded completely flat, providing a bed-like flat loading bay. Just like before, the spare wheel is mounted underneath the body and that is also a 16-inch wheel. Now, let's close this tailgate and talk about the pricing and value of the Zeta variant. So clearly, there is not a lot of difference when comparing the pre facelifted Zeta XL6 and this latest model. The handful of differences include the new 16-inch alloy wheels, the standard tilt and telescopic adjustable steering wheel, the availability of ESP traction control with hill hold, and the two additional airbags. Apart from these additions, the Zeta variant remains almost exactly the same as before, while also providing the option of a new 6-speed torque converter automatic gearbox with paddle shifters. However, for the overall significant price increase, the XL6 Zeta variant still could have provided at least a reverse parking camera. That said, if you are in the market for a very comfortable, flexible and compact family MPV with adequate levels of features and safety while also providing SUV-like looks, then the XL6 Zeta variant could be a good choice for you. Do let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this Zeta variant of the facelifted XL6. Meanwhile, this is Swiprajesh signing off. See you on another video. Thank you for watching.